What up, y'all? This is your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons Delight. Boy, oh boy, I, I, I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm going to tell y'all what. I'm a little shocked at the ending. A little bit shocked at the ending. I shouldn't be, but I am. I am. Now, I, I, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all know I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to keep it straight up honest with y'all. My prediction for this match was that uh, Cody Rhodes and, and um, Seth Rollins were going to win. Something clued me in that the ending will be the way it, it ended up being based on something that I heard earlier this week. I'm going to let y'all know that after I go over the match. Now, let's get into this. So, this is a long match, too, and, like, we knew it, the main event. So, The Rock, right? So, The Rock comes out, one of the best interests I've ever seen. The two best interests of the night was this one and the Bianca Belair, Jay Cargill, and Naomi one. Like, those two interests right there. Felt like rest uh, WrestleMania entrances, bro. Like those are some great entrances that we saw there. Um, the Rock's interest with the with the with the with the fire around the Brahma Bull. Um, I mean, he came out. Oh, that was great. I actually thought the Rock was gonna start wearing pants for his match as he went back to the trunks, and uh, I, I was surprised he went back to the trunks at his age, man. But he's still in the trunks though. So, it, it kind of still looked like... And the way The Rock moved, bro. The Rock still looked like he could move, bro. The Rock actually still looked like he could move, man. Um, You know. But I was a I was a little bit surprised that the match went as long as they did. Knowing these like three of these guys got to fight tomorrow, man. Roman, Seth, and Cody got to fight tomorrow, bro. This went almost 45 damn minutes, bro. I was like, for real, bro? I'm like, why is this match so long? This tells me probably tomorrow. I think Drew and Seth is still going to do a pretty long match, like maybe 20 minutes. I got a feeling because, okay, let's just get it because I, I, we got to talk about it like tomorrow at the end of this video. Let's just go straight to the end. So it was a lot of situations where this match looked like it could have went either way. Um, It came down to... Who was up and who was down. So there was a spot where. Where Cody put the rock through the table. Right. And this is where the chaos happened. And uh, Roman speared uh, Seth through the barricade. That to me is where the match pretty much turned that. When Roman speared him through the barricade. Seth was not involved in the match after that. Uh, from what I remember. I don't think he was involved in the match after that point. And it was basically almost. It turned in. Kind of into a two-on-one at that point because Roman and The Rock was always up at some point in the match. And it really, like, Cody had to really fight for himself at that point. Mama Rose was there with uh, Cody's stepfather, who was uh, Brandy Rose's father. Uh, cool to see her father there. I was surprised Brandy wasn't there. Maybe Brandy be there tomorrow. I don't know. Because remember, they had their kid there last year, so I don't know. But with it being bloodline rules, I don't see the point of her having being there tomorrow. So... Let's just go over what happened here late, man. So, Cody picks up Reigns and hit him with a second crossroads. Then picked him up for a third. But The Rock blasted Cody with a lash with the weight belt. Uh, Reigns speared Cody. Uh, the Rock held out his hand. 
Reigns nodded and then tagged out. Rock waited for Cody to stand up and then put him right back down with a rock bottom. Rock looked into the camera and made the throat uh, slash gesture like this is almost it uh, before holding up his index finger. And then the Rock hit Cody with the people's elbow and pinned him. And that was all she wrote for Seth Rollins and Cody Rose in 45 minutes as the Rock and Roman surprisingly win. I was definitely surprised with the finish because... I felt like okay, if Seth and Cody, like if Cody was going to get a was going to get a win over Reigns this weekend, it'd be this match. Um, let me clue in why I think this match did go the way it went, though. So for those guys that watched Jimmy Fallon interview with The Rock and Roman Reigns this week. The Rock said something about, and it stuck with me ever since he said that. He said, "We're all going to see." how dominating the bloodline family is truly going to look. And it did feel like it was one of those things where like, he's just talking shit or whatever. It felt like he actually meant what he said. Like we're going to get a true domination of the bloodline this weekend. I really figured that they weren't going to go with bloodline rules for this, for the actual match, just because they already did it for raw. Like, I figured they did it for Raw because they weren't planning on doing it for the match tomorrow. So now, Cody, anything anything goes. He's not and he's not going to be able to trust Seth because, well, not so much trust Seth, but I don't think Seth's going to come out and help because Seth is going to be involved in this, this war with Drew McIntyre earlier in the night. You know what I mean? Um... With the way Rhea and Becky led off WrestleMania, they may actually lead off Seth and um, Drew tomorrow. It wouldn't surprise me if they led if they led off with that match tomorrow. Um, so we'll see how that goes. But you know, he still got Jay. Jay probably would definitely come out. Jay will probably most definitely come out to help Cody. But outside of that, you know, who else is going to come out? Sami Zayn, Kevin Owens. I don't know. I don't know who else will come out, man. Um, Because I don't know who else is going to want the smoke with the bloodline. You know what I mean? It's going to be very interesting to see the way they, they, they do this. But from the way The Rock was talking in that Jimmy Fallon interview, it sounds like this is going to be The Rock got the victory tonight. Roman gets the victory tomorrow. That's what it sounds like, bro. If It sounds like that's the way the Cody story is going to end with the bloodline. Um. Yeah, it just, it, I don't see any way Cody comes out of this as a winner. It's going to be something in this match that is going to surprise us, which is the the thing that we all need to watch out for tomorrow. I think there is going to be a, 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 a trick in here somewhere. Uh, rather, it's a couple of dudes debuting. It's going, it's going to be something, though. Like, that's the thing that's very interesting about tomorrow's match. If we know it's going to be something. You know what I mean? But, uh. Again, The Rock looked good tonight, man. He looked good in the ring tonight, man. It looks like he can go. Um, Looks like he could go in here. I actually want, man, seeing The Rock go against Jay Uso at SummerSlam. Like, somebody had actually bought that up. Because I don't, I think the, I think the long-term plan with The Rock versus Roman, I think that's got to be, he's got to beat the Hogan streak first. And that's another reason why I keep thinking Ro- Roman is going to win tomorrow because, Hogan's streak is so close. Like, it's next year, I think. Like, I don't, I just don't think they're going to... Um, I think they want Roman to beat that record, man. So, uh, yeah, I, I, think he get, I think he gets to that. The other thing I'm looking out for tomorrow is... Well, not specifically tomorrow, but very soon is Damian Priest getting the cash in. He could cash in on this Seth Rollins match, too. But I, I think it's going to happen sometime after that. But Damian Priest is definitely going to be someone to watch out for very closely um, going forward. But, yeah, let's see what happens tomorrow, man. Uh, give me your thoughts in the comment section, man. I'm going to definitely put up the poll tomorrow uh, or in the morning or whatever. I'm going to definitely put up the poll. So I'm going to need y'all to vote on that. And let's see who wins this match tomorrow, man. But Bloodline rules. So Solo Squad wasn't even there tonight. So you know he's going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> Now, let's see what happens. But I think it's definitely going to be a big surprise in there. But I do expect Roman to retain. Uh, I think another thing they could do, if they don't want to put the stipulation that Roman, like that Cody never gets the title again, 
They could make this a D. Oh, because it's blowing out rules. It's not going to be DQ. So I guess I guess this is gonna be the last half of Cody, man. But go ahead and hit give this video a like, share, subscribe, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this. Well, after news, the like.